next. It's going to be Aftab Puraval against City Councilman David Mann for mayor of Cincinnati in the November election. OK, so they were the top two vote getters of the six in tonight's primary. Jeter McGee talked with Councilman David Mann. We're going to hear from her in just a moment. But first, WLWT News 5's anchor Stephen Albritton is covering Aftab Puraval. He's live with reaction from the Hamilton County Board of Elections tonight. Hi, Stephen. Hey, Mike. Hey, Cherie. Yeah, they're just getting ready to turn the lights on us out here at the Hamilton County Board of Elections. But as you guys mentioned, after that Bureau Ball was leading from the jump from the very first mail in and absentee ballots came out uh, after the polls closed. Now, when I spoke to him, he said he's grateful to Cincinnatians who came out and he says he has a bright and bold and diverse plan to be a new leader at City Hall as he becomes one of the top two vote getters going on to the primary this fall. And he's focusing on recovering from COVID and he want to make sure all 52 neighborhoods in Cincinnati are a part of that in equity. And he said Cincinnati needs to be somewhere that they can come together and turn that page. Now, if you look at the numbers of the other four candidates who did not make it in the top two, that was about 10,500 votes with only 15% turnout. So there are a lot of votes as we head into November. And I asked Aftab Purable, what's it going to take for him to get those 10,500 votes plus all of the other people who didn't come out for the primary? It's going to take hard work, uh, and we've shown that in this campaign, willing to go to where voters are, talk to them about the issues and, and challenges that they're facing, but most importantly, share our bold vision for moving Cincinnati forward. As I mentioned, more than anything, this campaign has to be about putting the city back together and turning the chapter on this really challenging year. Mm -hmm. So once again, after that pure ball in that top two, and I asked him if he would commit to a live debate on WLWT against his opponent, and he said he's willing to do that. Now, as far as counting the votes tonight, everything went smoothly. Uh, we, did, we were told uh, earlier tonight that there was one scanner left at a polling place, so that's why it was at 99.4% for a short time, but it's at a bipartisan commission over there to grab that, bring it back, and now we're at 100%. They expect to certify those votes on May 18th. Reporting live at the Hamilton County Board of Elections, Stephen Albritton, WLWT News 5. Stephen, thank you. Cincinnati City Councilman David Mann is going to be Pure of All's opponent in the general election. That's right. WLWT News 5, Jatera McGee just spoke with Mann about advancing to November, and she's live outside of City Hall right now. Hi, Jatera. Hey there, Mike and Cherie. You know, David Mann says he feels great tonight, and he's delighted and humbled that voters pushed him into the final round. He says he's the right man to lead City Hall after this pandemic is over. You know, we talked with him, caught up with him just a few minutes ago outside of his home in Clifton, where he watched results come in tonight. He says as mayor, the most important item on his agenda would also be the biggest challenge, restoring public's trust after numerous scandals at City Hall. I asked him how he will compete with Aftab Pureval's energized base, and he said, with his own energized base and his own energy. Man wants voters to know he can provide steady leadership founded on common sense. He has decades of experience in politics, and he believes that experience is his best quality and should give him the edge over Pureval come November. I've been there. I'm now chair of the Budget and Finance Committee. I was a mayor in the past. I think that kind of experience is particularly important. Uh, when you're going through a pandemic, when you have all the problems we've had with some of my colleagues at City Hall, and um, you need somebody can be where you feel confident that, that they'll uh, steady the ship properly. So I think that's what uh, created the most support for me. You know, man held that second place position all night long. He says the work to push ahead in November begins tomorrow. And as for that live debate that Stephen mentioned, mentioned, man says he's in. Reporting live at City Hall tonight, Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.